January 15, 2023. Marcus Giovanni here. Kelly J. Brow at ASCOA at Brookings Institute EDU at Kelly Brow. Now, when you think about all the people that are connected to her, her cell phone contacts, email contacts, all the text messages, all the videos that she made throughout the years, from her time of making $474,000 um, at the Denver Chamber of Commerce with a retirement package from working under Hickenlooper, who's responsible for a $100 million deficit. Yeah, she used to work for the first only candidate that's ever managed a city, and she brought it to $100 million. But now she's going to do things different. She's going to remove the the uh, homeless sweeps, and she's going to create everything bad, but she's going to still make her money. So her life is never affected. Only the people around her that keep voting the same way and get poorer and poorer. But that's their hope. That's their false hope. That's their fake and biased bullshit pig with red lips. And the Brookings Institute's bullshit. ASOCA's bullshit. They don't realize it. Look at that. Look, look at all the stuff that they have here, man. It's all bullshit. Kelly J. Brow is president and CEO of the Denver Metro Chamber of Commerce. Prior to joining the Chamber, she served as chief of staff for and everything else under the under Hickenlooper, hundred million dollar deficit. Kelly is the only candidate for mayor who actually managed the city. Hundred million dollar deficits. She's gonna end homeless camps. She's already starting the same rhetoric. They don't know any different. They've been using the same spin on people for sixty fucking years. LinkedIn's a bullshit organization. I don't use LinkedIn, but yet they keep my they keep that me high up in their rankings because they pay for it. And when they do that, because I don't use their sources, it brings up all my other content. And so, less the thing about um, Kelly is that she can't create anything. If she didn't have Brookings Institute or ASCOA and boasting that she's still president, see what I mean? They know that's there. See and notice how Brookings, Brookings is missing from their conversation? Must include? Because they're all bullshit, man. They're all in it. They're all, they're all co-mingling. And artificial intelligence has found them all out. And so when, Ken, so when Kelly boasts that she's this long, look at Denver, right? Long-time CEO. Has filed paper April, August 15th. Let me, let me give you a timeline. She went from $474,000 um uh to a hundred and fifty thousand dollar job that was made up for her and inspired by the Metropolitan State University using college money, state funds to push a a a pig with red lips. Outdated. She can't create nothing. All she can do is talk. And all these people are all about talkers. They're not about action. And that's what's gonna sink Denver. And all, and then what people don't know is that we've, I've talked to some city people and we're starting to lose some big events to other cities because they cannot be connected to a city that's illegitimate. They can bullshit all they want, but this is artificial intelligence, folks. This is the new digital God. God gave man free will to do whatever the fuck we want. Say whatever we want. If you want to go kill 11 million people and vote that man into office, that's your priority. But you're going to be judged on it when you die. And if you think you can, if you think life is that fucked up, that we're just living in a simulated state, which we are, then I feel sorry for my kids and their kids. And all these people, like when I stand outside to get my petition signed, and the vile shit that comes out of their mouths, and like I'm the one responsible for the corrupt government. No, dude, my vote don't count. Fuck elections. I'm sick of that. Fuck you too, by the way. You're part of it. Yeah, dude, if I was part of it, I'd smash your fucking head in for talking to me like that. But I don't, and I can't, because I won't. But I could. But I won't. But I could. But I won't. Why? I'm not losing my freedom for nobody, man. That's what they want you to do. They want you... See, unless you're a Democrat that can go destroy people's properties and do all that that, that is in their circles... Our neighbors are all on high alert right now. They got their, they're locked and loaded, man. They're watching my street, back streets, side streets, up and down. They got their, their doorbells and other hidden cameras everywhere, man.
because they know. It was a lot cheaper for me to move than for them to do what they did. But hey, this is what we do. This is how civilcitypatrol.com, disinformationzar.us, wizardknowsalltellsall.com, supercomputer that Denver will own. They'll lease it from me. Pennies. They'll make residual income that the city and county of Denver wishes they could do. They impede all the businesses and they just screw everything up. These days are over, folks. And I didn't have to be mayor of the city, of the city and county of Denver. DenverGov.org. Denver, Denver Government Organization. They're not even legal with their URLs, even though they can do whatever they want. But they're going to start losing a lot more of their grants and everything because they didn't join Denver.gov. And if they keep that other one open with that one and they're double dipping, they're going to get suffered more. So what we're dealing with is a city that's been used as a model of what not to do when trying to monopolize and now kleptocracy, uh, kleptocracy and now illegitimate wise. And I hope you people aren't that fucking stupid, man. I really, but for 63 years, they say it's hard to break a monopoly, but you can break an illegitimate government. Are they prepared for it? Are they prepared for all their lies? And it's all the index, their voices, ask their IT people. Oh yeah, you can't because they don't know. They've been just writing your bullshit and they haven't done anything to raise their knowledge bar. Just like Janine Davidson, Metropolitan State University, those kids, they don't understand it. That their graduation, 47% with an acceptance rate of 83, it should be the other way around, it should be an 83% graduation rate with a 47% um, acceptance rate. See, because what it is, is uh, quality over quantity. That's how you get social credit system scores and rankings.com. And if you don't think social credit system China, Google search that, social credit system China. They launched in 2020, folks. They're already manipulating all the, all the digital stuff that they need to. If I can do this, what do you think the Chinese can do? And I pray for Denver, man. But they're the smartest people in the world, and they're, they're on the Titanic. And they hit a fucking huge iceberg. And they're all trying to get on that ship. Uh, rescue boats so they can go continue their lies and bullshit. But you know what? On the Titanic, the Denver Titanic, there is no lifeboats. It's like a train station that you go to and you never come back, digitally wise. I don't threaten no one, folks. It ain't worth it. I got threatened a lot, man. My whole entire life. Nobody gives a fuck about this indigenous Indian guy except the ones that sign my pa my petitions and the ones that go to my website. And they, they understand that I'm not a perfect human. I'm not the smartest guy. And that everybody that got a card for me, they're going to be, that's their card to come to my mayor's office and tell me what you guys feel that we need to change. We're a citizen's government, not a Democrat, not a Republican. You hear that, Andy? Google search Andy R-O-U-G-E-O-T. He's the biggest... Him, and, uh, he's an idiot. Idiot IOT, we call it. Where he comes out and he says, yeah, I'm the first GOP in 60 years. Then you know that stuff that you and your people read that were, that uh, Denver has monopolized it for 60 years. And so what Andy did is come in and told, ha told a half lie. Not even a half truth. It was a half lie. Trying to make it to be truth. And he's an army veteran who bought an office, who bought a business working out of the library in Arvada. The guy's 31 years old. You can tell he doesn't know what he's doing. He thinks he can just pay 250. Oh, and he put $250,000 in. Yeah, he borrowed it from Oak, Oak Tree Bank, another frivolous bullshit company who's trying to capitalize on a, on a mayoral candidate that's spooing lies. Good luck with that, Oak Tree Bank. Troll bitches.